All right, Ethan, now uh, you've just got your brand new, well, second hand, but brand, brand new. Yeah. What have you got there? I got a Jackson Professional straight off Trade Me for 350 Nice. Does it got a case? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's got a old half case over there. Great, great. Um, and do you know what year it is? 1992. So great. So show us what's the problem. Hold your guitar upside on, so just this way here. As you can see, hold it, hold it up flat to the camera. Yeah, oh, like, like that. As you can see, we've got the old typical problem. Someone's had very, very light strings on it, and now they've come and put some tens or something on it. So uh, let's show you how to uh, sort that out in yeah. five minutes. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take out the strings for your back plate. So get started on that. So we're just going to unlock the nut here and loosen off these by about two turns. Oh, so what we're going to do here is, as you can tell, this whole bridge unit here is hooked up to these springs here. So if it's hanging forward, we want to pull down on it and take it back. So get the camera down there, Mr. Cameraman. So first let's give it a go and maybe give it... You could put another spring in if you wanted to, but there's quite a lot of play here in this claw. So you've got a lot of room to screw them in. Check it out. It's getting there. Get a, have a listen to it and make sure it's not getting too tight because you don't want to break any strings or have to muck around with that. Yeah, Ethan, I'd possibly say this is the first time this has been opened up. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly uh, check the tuning. All right, after about those three turns, you can see that all the strings have come back up to pitch. So I just need to loosen these puppies off. Because we don't want to break any strings, eh, Ethan? We have to go buy some more. And also, we don't want to stress the bridge out too much. So we can take all those down so that they're quite detuned. Oh, hi again. Um, we've uh, been checking the tuning, and um, what we had to do is actually, ultimately, we had to take the bridge right off, take all the springs out, because this little bridge mount here had slipped up a bit. You can see here, it sort of popped up the little ferrule from there, so we uh, took the bridge off, and we shoved that back in. Now, it's pretty much up to pitch. Put the springs on in a different um, way. They used to be sort of coming to the second and fourth, instead of one, two, three that way. Um, which has given it more tension, and you can see we're just about there. So, what I'm going to do is just loosen off these strings a little bit more, and now it's just a bit of guesstimation. So, we're going to screw that in a bit further. Let's try one, two, three. Three and three is enough, Ethan? Yep. Alright, and then we will check our tuning a little again. We're um, all in tune, and it's sounding close to it, but as you can see, we just need to adjust a little bit more. So I'm not going to bother detuning now. I'm just going to get in there, give it one good twist, and uh, retune. So um, how's that action feeling on the guitar oh, now, all right? It's pretty sweet now. Cool. Can you hold that upside on so we can see that bridge now? Okay, you can see that puppy's sitting dead flat. Dead flat. Now we're just going to leave the back off the guitar for a wee while because yeah. um, we might need to do some adjustments on that. But um, I think you're pretty much all set. Play a couple of chords. Nice. Done. Wicked. So let's try the whammy bar out, eh?